This podcast is brought to you by Villanova University on iTunes U. Please visit us on itunes.villanova.edu. The whole objective with anybody in the field of management information systems, sometimes you hear of it as information technology. We can talk about it being IT, for that matter, business tech. You read the Wall Street Journal, right? It's, it's all about business tech anymore, um, the, the section in the, in the Wall Street Journal. Um, but really what it comes down to is it's all about delivering the right information. It's all about information management. It's delivering the right information to the right people at the right time. So if we can make sure that people have the right information to make the decisions that they need to make in a very timely fashion, then MIS is doing its job. What does that mean? It really depends on the industry, what that means to have information at the right time. If I'm in finance and I'm making trading decisions, that timeliness is within the milliseconds, within the one hundredths of a millisecond, right? If I'm in retail, maybe it's not at the millisecond level, but maybe it's at the daily level, right? I need my sales data on a daily basis or inventory understanding on a daily basis. Okay, if I'm in manufacturing and manufacturing goods, I might need to look at my production schedule at a weekly basis. So that right time really depends on the industry, the right people. The people are going to be anything from your individual players inside the organization to your executive levels, right? They need data. They need information in order to make their decisions, whether it's the day-to-day -day tasks or it's the executive kind of strategic tasks. It's got to be in the right form. What do we mean by form? Um, form can mean a lot of things anymore. Um, but obviously, an executive level person doesn't want to have to read through sheets and sheets of paper to understand um, how their sales are doing in the Midwest, right? Instead, what are they looking for anymore? They're looking for like data visualization tools. They're looking for graphs that are displaying immediately to them in a visual format on their iPad while they're in the airport exactly what's going on inside their business. That form keeps changing, and that's one of the challenges that we have in information technology is nothing stays the same, right? It's constantly changing, and the demands and the forms are also maturing and changing on us. We also have to do this with cost in mind. We like to think that cost isn't an issue. Um, Keith and I both come out of industry, and I think we lived through the 90s when cost was never really discussed because everybody knew they had to implement newer technologies, they had to get onto the internet, they had to integrate their businesses with, with systems. Um, but now <coughs> cost is really a challenge, right? We have, to, we have to watch our dollars. So this is our goal, this is really it. This is what MIS is as an industry. I believe that MIS is right for everyone, but now let's just decide if it is right for you. So MIS is right for you if these are some things that, that you might like. First of all, MIS is all about people and process. So you have to like people. MIS is not about this and not talking to anybody. MIS is all about talking to people. It's all about working through how people get their work done. Right? What are the tools that they need? What is the, what's the data that they need? And how do they want that data presented to them so that they can do their work? MIS is right for you if you like people and process and if you like change. Because as I said before, nothing stays the same. The softwares are changing. The devices that we're using are changing. Um, you know, it, it, it's, you're going to learn technologies. You're going to learn some things here in school that by the time potentially you graduate, not that what you learn here doesn't have value. It's just that there's going to be different software packages. There's going to be different tools that you might be challenged to use. Right? You're constantly learning. You, know, you talk about this like ever learning environment. Um, with technology, you can't just sit back. You're not going to get out of here. You're not going to get a certification. And you're not going <coughs> to sit in that position forever. You know, in your youth, it's a great opportunity to be in an environment that, that is constantly putting opportunity in front of you to grow. But it's exciting, too, because we get to see these evolutions and, and the impact that these newer technologies have on the way people live their lives, on the way people work. And that's what's so great about your job, is you're constantly making things better for people. MIS is right for you if you like to solve problems. Um, and the main reason why is I like this, this word right here, complex. Our biggest problem today is a lot of the technology problems are very complicated. Um, if you look at you know, a large organization, um, imagine the number of employees they have. Imagine the number of divisions that they have within their organization. Imagine the fact that they're global. 
And because they're global, they have to support multiple languages. They have to support multiple currencies. Right? So this is really tricky when you start to do financial reporting for a global multinational company. Right? I've got to bring this data in a meaningful way together and to, to present and understand our financial standings. Right? That's not simple task. That's just one, one, simple, one example. Um, but you know, when there's problems or there's issues or we want to make some significant changes, or guess what? We buy somebody or we sell off some division, which happens all the time. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of data integration challenges that happen in situations like that. So the problems are complex. I'll go back to that people thing. The problems are so complex that there's no one person that can solve those problems. So what happens is in businesses and in organizations, we bring a lot of skilled people together, like our MIS graduates, right? We bring them together to try to solve these challenging, kind of complex technology problems. Right? Your skill and your talent is your business acumen and your appreciation for what technology can do. We've got computer scientists and computer engineers. They can help us with some of the you know, putting together the physical devices, the programming that's necessary to make these systems work. We've got, that's, those are other skills. But we bring together all of these skills to solve these really complex problems. Because no one group of people and no one person is going to be able to solve them. So it's unknowing. Technology is touching all of our industries. You're realizing that. So you'd be remiss not to understand the technology. And it's not that hard, I can promise you. It's not hard. It's learnable, it's doable. We're not overly technical in this program, right? It's not something that, you know, you're not gonna be sitting behind your computer every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night just to, to, to be an MIS major. You're gonna do a lot of people process work and um, you're gonna learn about technologies and the value of those technologies, okay? But you're not designing new technologies in this program.